18, 2023, regular meeting of the Camp Local Board of Education. Uh, if everybody stands, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. scratch off the very top one of Kerrigan Horning. She has already been approved and was mistakenly put back on there. So everything else is good. We just, if we could just scratch her off. Okay, so I'm gonna make the motion that we adopt the agenda with that exception. Second. All right, we have first, second, any discussion? None, call the roll please. Mrs. Davis? Aye. Mr. Knight? Aye. Mr. Hamilton? Aye. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mr. Kovesky? Aye. Now I'd like to make a motion to approve the regular meeting of minutes of August 21st, 2003 and wait the reading of those minutes and accept them as written. Second. Are there any questions? All roll, please. Mr. Kovesky? Aye. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mrs. Davis? Aye. Mr. Knight? Aye. Mr. Hamilton? Aye. Yep, so tonight for our school report, and uh, they're all doing just like their students and sitting in the back, which is awesome, good job. But we're gonna turn it over to uh, Mrs. Uh, Coach Everett to introduce our new staff here at Camp Local Schools. Good evening, Board of Education. I'm really pleased to introduce some amazing new hires, all amazing new hires to our district this evening. As I call your name, just stand up and be recognized, and then once I've introduced you, you can sit down and the next person can stand. We'll start with Sherry Bartlett. Sherry is one of our new third grade teachers at our elementary building, comes from North Carolina. Welcome, Sherry. Our first interview with her was virtual from North Carolina. Next, we have Michelle Carter. Michelle Carter is teaching our health classes at our middle school and also high school health at the high school. Madeline Evans. Madeline is one of our amazing new title teacher hires at the elementary building and our title tutors this year have their work cut out for them and are doing amazing jobs learning new things. Abby, Abigail Hine is a new paraprofessional at our elementary building. Welcome, Abby. Riley James is another one of our title tutors at our elementary building. Alexis Lake, title tutor at our elementary building. We're very fortunate. We have been able to hire two additional title tutors for this year with some Title I funds. So give our, giving our students at our elementary building some additional support. Jeremy Mackin. This is our new high school science teacher. Was in the Columbus area for a while, moved back to this area. And we're happy to have you back, Jeremy. Deborah McGraw is our substitute, long-term substitute English language arts teacher, doing a great job working with Mrs. Karabik over at the uh, middle school building. Katie Norris comes to us from Alliance. She was an instructional coach there at the high school, and now we have her here at our middle school as a 
as an academic coach. Mia Owen, elementary building, title tutor. Happy to have you, Mia. Jessica Pleat is a paraprofessional with us at our high school this year. Joy Plumley is at our elementary building as a permanent sub. Leah Stromberger is at our elementary building as our other new hire for our third grade teaching staff. Chris Smith is at our elementary building as a paraprofessional. Ricky Webster is at our high school as a monitor. Michelle Williams is a title tutor at our elementary building. And Wendy Zuckett is a title tutor at our elementary building. So again, we're thrilled to have these fantastic new hires working in our district, and we welcome all of you as Canton Local Wildcats. Thank you. Expense side, um, the salaries are down 459,000, but that's because last year we had a three pay month. In July this year, we have had two two pay months, so an extra pay in there. Um, and the total at the bottom of here for all funds matches the reconciliation as well: 21 million 113 447, and our general fund ended with 17 million 705 396, compared with 12 million 121 086 last year. Again, that's it's hard to compare year to year because of the time constraints of our. Real estate collections. That's item A. I recommend the financial reports for approval. Item B is our annual appropriation resolution. That's exhibit TD1. Um, the first three pages are the official resolution that will be submitted to the county auditor, but I did a, a, a breakdown um, to show the current year appropriations and then what we have is carryover appropriations there um, on the final page. Um, so total appropriations for the year in the general fund, 27 million, 636, 753. That's up a little more than a million dollars from last year, which is what we expected. Um, that'll be reflected on the five-year forecast as well, just with inflationary increases, increases in our uh, benefits costs and salaries costs. Um, total funds amount uh, for appropriations, 36 
million six twenty one one hundred eleven for all funds, including state and federal grant funds. I recommend the appropriation resolution for approval as presented. Um, and then item C, we have two purchase orders um, for approval that are over uh, three thousand dollars. It requires an now certification. Uh, two four zero 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 six four three for five thousand um, dollars. Active Internet Technologies and two four zero 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 seven one six to Spring Valley Golf Course for course rentals, uh, sixty five hundred dollars. So I recommend those for approval. <coughs> and then the final item, item D, um, substitute rates for the twenty three twenty four school year. Um, we did have one change from last year to this year. Um, everything else is the same other than the bus driver pay. Last year, we our bus, sub bus drivers were paid at $17 an hour. Um, we bumped that up to the, BA, or the to the starting rate for a bus driver, which is $18.89. We're struggling to find drivers, so anything we can do to get them in the queue, and as soon as we get them signed up, they're driving buses for us pretty much every day. So I'm happy to have our, our sub bus drivers uh, when we can get them. And, recommend we approve the substitute rates as they're presented there. That's it. All right, I still move one item A through D. I'll second that. Okay, any further discussion? None. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hamilton? Aye. Mr. Kovetsky? Aye. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mrs. Davis? Aye. Mr. Knight? Aye. All right, that brings us to communications. Yep, so, so I was jumping in, ready to go, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ready to roll. Sorry, Mr. Knight. <laughs> hey, so our students of the month, that guy, that will begin next month. Just so you're aware, we'll have our September and our October students here for that. Um, as far as, I'm just going to go down to, we have also selected our students that will be our board reps. That's going to be Aaron Foster and uh, Kyler Howard. They're going to be at the October board meeting as well. So just so you're aware, those are coming here. As far as uh, some other community things, Honestly, athletics, right now we've had a very good start to the year. Our football team is currently 5-0, third ranked in the state. Our girls' golf team has already broken their own record uh, that they set last year of 12 wins, and they are already surpassed that, and we're hopefully to bring those kids back in here. Our girls' tennis team right now is currently 13-2. They are undefeated in the league. Their two losses are to uh, Lake and to Glen Oaks, where they played really, really tough, but are bigger schools that we're playing to get ready for uh, tournament time but within the league, sitting there and undefeated. Um, our boys soccer team right now is off to an outstanding start. Overall, they are five, one and one in the league. They are three, one and one right now and seeing a lot of good things out of those kids as well. So just really excited about where we are there with them. As far as facilities, nothing really to update at this time. Uh, for curriculum and programming, just as you guys know, the uh, state report cards did come out. Uh, we were ranked as a 3.5 star school um, it's progress, it's, it's better than where we would have been if they were given a whole ranking last year. There's lots of things we wanna celebrate and there's lots of things we wanna tell you where we wanna get better. So at the end of this meeting, I'm gonna ask for you guys to call and we'll do this during another business, but a special board work session prior to the October board meeting. At 5.30, we'll talk about it there a little bit at the end where we can really sit down and go through it, uh, give community members opportunities to ask questions through a, a system we have. Obviously, you as the board and we'll present to you on that. Um, and really, that is really about it. As far as then, I guess that would move us down to my superintendent's report. Um, guys, it has been out of, this, this is my third year, and out of my three years, this has far and away been the best start to a school year that we have had. Um, Mrs. Davis, I know you and I were talking a little bit before, and you said that's been echoed by teachers and staff, and I'm hearing that over and over again from people. And again, not to say that it's perfect, but it's been a great start, and I wanna thank our staff, um, they have been phenomenal in what they have been doing. And when I say that, I mean everyone from, you know, our bus drivers, our cooks, our, our secretarial staff, our paraprofessionals. Um, honestly, it has been awesome. Our teachers are doing great. Our kids have been amazing. Um, it, it is a little bit more back to what, what we think should be normal. And keeping that focus now on attendance is huge, getting our kids here, and then obviously achievement as well with that. So just really excited about that. Also want to say, uh, we just had our homecoming this weekend, over 300 tickets sold, really excited about that. Uh, coming up, we have our uh, musical 
Um, I believe right now I was misquoted. I, I, I told you 145. We have 148 students that have participated in this in grades three through 12. We're gonna get community members into it. And then last Thursday, we had an outstanding event with the Hall of Distinction with Dr. John Ash, Marty Bow, Nancy Kenzel Utterback, Coach Tim Miller, and Commissioner Bill Smith all going into the Hall of Distinction. Just a really good night. So a lot of really good things to start the year. Really excited about it. And we just hope to continue this positive momentum moving forward. Yep, right on. So, all right, guys, item A, um, we do have some resignations. Um, just very, very quickly, Sarah Duke's a clerical uh, thing on our part. As we looked back through, she did resign at the end of the year. We had her letter. Um, we looked at this, and we just weren't sure that we saw it on board minutes. Um, and we just wanted to make sure that we had it approved. If we're doubling it up, there's no harm, but we need to make sure she has not been repaid for this year or anything like that. There's nothing like that going on. Uh, Katie Kreitzer, resident educator, she's simply stepping down. We approved her, but then as we move to the middle school, we have no need for that position this year. Uh, so she is going to resign on that position. And then Christina Ricketts uh, is stepping down as department head, just out of deciding that she did not want that responsibility right now. So I would ask that we would accept those in item A. For employment, uh, Crichton Rothermill, you see stage manager there, that's a supplemental contract. That is the same thing that we did last year and that is to make sure that we have him here at all of our plays, any concerts we're able to bring in, all of those extra events. Creighton did a nice job for us there. Rachel Taylor, the administrative supplemental contract of $5,000, because we have handed over all, if you know, we reduced the position of the um, receptionist. We tried to redistribute some things, and it's putting a lot of extra work on Rachel's plate, and she is doing a lot of extra things for us, and so this supplemental, is to be more in line with some of the more responsibilities that she is taking. It is still considerably cheaper than bringing in a receptionist and having them there. So that's what this is all about. The next ones there you see uh, Art Show for Chris Berger, Katie Nolan, resident educator, Heather Sykes, department chair. Those are all supplemental contracts. Jennifer Valentine, the ELL tutoring services. This is as needed, but up to 20 hours per week at $20 per hour. This is to support our, our multitude of students we have that are English language learners. And uh, she did a very nice job for us last year. We'd like to bring her back in this year to work with not only with our students, but the staff that's working with those students. Our next, if you look at seven, eight, nine, uh, and 10 and 11, those are the new temporary paraprofessionals that we are bringing on. Um, we had a lot of enrollments towards the end of the, the summer, into late August, to the point that our kindergarten numbers are up higher than what we want them to be. Uh, our best decision at this point in time we thought was to add in some paraprofessionals to make sure that there are always two adults in that room with our uh, kindergarten teachers to make sure those students are being supported, the teachers doing the actual instruction, but to have paraprofessionals in that room. So that's what these additions are, um, and that's why we're recommending them for employment. Um, the rest are substitutes, and just like Jason said, we are so grateful for our substitutes to have them uh, be available for us and help us out. But we'd like to recommend all of those. And final item 16, our athletic coaches and game workers that are on exhibit B1. And I recommend that we uh, approve all of them. Item C, gifts and donations. Just very thankful to uh, everybody there. There's an anonymous donation to Six Man Mentoring, Waco, uh, Epworth Methodist Church making a donation to Faircrest Memorial Elementary School, the Waco Firefighters Association with a scholarship donation, the Babbitt family with a scholarship donation, and then Canton South Youth Hoops making a donation to both boys and girls basketball. This is off of money that was raised at that tournament last year. Um, they had already made, I believe, one donation, and this is additional money that they are making to us. And obviously, we'd like to gratefully accept those. Item D is the transportation provided by third parties. This is for students that have to be transported to other schools for educational reasons to help meet their needs. Uh, sometimes, instead of having our bus drivers, it makes more sense uh, for us to have other companies do that, and LED uh, has done it for us in the past, done a good job. We did explore other options for prices just to make sure we were being competitive. This is Victoria Hesse did that for us, and again, LED came in with the best quotes for us on that, and that's why we are, are recommending them. Uh, item E, use of school facilities. Craig Leister, who is no longer our girls basketball coach, former girls basketball coach, but a teacher, um, is hosting the Harlem Wizards, and this is set to be a fundraiser for just our athletic programs in general. 
Uh, the Harlem Wizards are kind of the minor league team of the Harlem Globetrotters, but it's set to be a fun night. I know somehow I've been roped into being uh, the referee, which I told my wife is better than me actually playing and blowing out my knee in some way, shape, or form. So Jason told me I could not claim that as a workers' comp claim if I did. So that is uh, a recommendation that we let them use our school facility for that event. Um, Jessica Piper has also recommended that we be able to use the Red Ash Gym to host a cheerleading competition here on December 3rd. And again, just would recommend that we allow that to happen. Uh, the final thing for me is a settlement with Altria. This is part of, uh, if you remember, we are part of that Juul lawsuit, the electronic cigarette makers. We settled with Juul, I believe, in March of last year for approximately $35,000, $36,000. This is an additional settlement to come out of that that will pay Camp Local Schools $10,485, and I would recommend that we accept that settlement as well, and I think that's the end of mine. Okay, uh, could we pull uh, item E out for a separate vote? I make a motion to approve item A to F, with the exception of B. Second. Uh, House Bill 33, I'd like to discuss that a little bit, uh, but not today. It is very convoluted, <laughs> and I want to, you know, break it down so I'm you know, telling you the right thing, so uh, we'll talk about it in a future uh, meeting. Okay? Are there any questions pertaining to uh, agenda items or board actions? If not here, you can email them to the other business. Oh, only other business for us guys is uh, we are going to again partner up with the Star County ESD for our business advisory council. Please know I plan to continue to work with our township to make sure that we are doing everything to stay with our local businesses as well. Uh, but just want to make sure of that. And then my last thing is I am unable to call for our board a special board meeting, but I would like to bring it to the board to ask that we have a special board work session for our public and for us to really go over the report card data on October 16th prior to the next board meeting. So I make a motion that we have a special work session on October 16th at 5 30. I'll second that. All right, any further discussion? Not call the roll, please. Mr. Cole? Let us do a little bit of work on that. I, I think we could do it in here, but I actually liked it in the community room. I thought that with, with the projections and everybody being able to see. So let me do some double check, but we will announce it out publicly. My thought being it will be in the community room with the board meeting to follow it here at 7. Thank you.